it's TBR Bakery time with this guy. So if you couldn't tell by that little intro clip, I have something a little bit different going on with my TBR this month. Um, I have been showing him off a lot in my vlogs, but if this is the first video you've ever seen from me or if you don't watch my vlogs, I know not everyone is super into vlogs, um, you might not know. No, you might know. I have mentioned it in other videos too, but I recently got a puppy. I got him, it's actually been a month now, but we are still kind of adjusting to life with a puppy. And so the office right now is kind of a mess. The shelves are a mess. So I didn't really want to film in front of them. Um, they basically become like a dumping ground for everything that we have to keep away from him. So <laughs> at the level I film my videos, they're just kind of full of stuff. So we're in the living room today. Um, don't mind the background in here. It is also messy. The floor is covered in toys <laughs> and um, Mr. Cooper is right back here too, but you can't see him. But I decided to do something a little bit fun. I know when I watch people's TBRs and they have pet pick as an option, I love it. And I think everybody else does too. And since my face isn't looking too great today, I couldn't be bothered getting ready to film like a sit down video. I'm gonna let him do most of the legwork for this video. <laughs> So housekeeping stuff first, I'm not participating in any readathons in September, so it will just be my TBR game that I am working through. And September is also gonna be kind of a catch up month for me with my reading. I'm in the middle of a lot of books um, that I ended up putting down before Magical Readathon or, you know, when I got a puppy at the end of July, I kind of gave up on my July TBR. So I started a lot of things that need to be finished so that's kind of what September is going to be, just like a finish things off kind of month. With that said, I did finish all of the books on my August TBR. I do not have them with me right now. I really only brought the books that he chose for me. If you want to know what those books were, you can go check out that video. Without further ado, I guess that's all I had to say, I believe. Let's get into September's rolls. Okay, roll number one is a two. We got a cupcake and that is a soft DNF. Okay, so roll number one got me a, oh, here he comes again. I had to go in the kitchen to go get my tablet and he followed me and then he kind of stayed out there, but now he's back. Uh, roll number one got me a cupcake and it was a soft DNF book. And a soft DNF book is just a book that I have started and unintentionally put down something that I never meant to stop reading. It wasn't supposed to be DNF'd, just other things got in the way, the end of the month came, stuff like that. So I gave him three to choose from. Okay, so we're off to a good start. The treats aren't even on the books yet and he's already just laying on them and licking them. Okay, so I have to do this fast because he knows I have a handful of kibble, but the books for Soft DNF are going to be The Liar's Knot by M.A. Carrick, Malice by John Gwynn, and Hold Tight by Harlan Coben. So let me just put, uh oh, here he comes. Pick a book, Cooper. Cooper, over there. Can you pick one? <laughs> They're right here. Pick one. He's never done this before, so he's not really sure what's going on. Cooper, can you pick one? Cooper, over here. And it looks like it's going to be the liar's knot. Good boy. Eat the other ones. And he was on my side because he picked The Liar's Knot by M.A. Carrick. This is a book that I started a few months ago now and just for reasons it just keeps getting put down. I was really enjoying my time with it and I really loved The Mask of Mirrors which was the first book in this series and I actually pre-ordered Labyrinth's Heart which is the third book. Third and final book. I believe this is just a trilogy. So that is actually already on my shelves, but before I can read that, I need to finish this. I don't have an audiobook for this, so I'm reading this physically, and I just don't have a lot of time to physically read, which is why this is taking me so long, and it just keeps getting put down for other things. But I am very excited to continue on with this series, and I'm really happy that he picked this for me. If you don't know what this series is, 
Um, the first book, The Mask of Mirrors, you are following a con artist named Ren as she is trying to infiltrate a family in high society. It has a Venetian inspired setting, it has tarot based magic, and just lots of political intrigue. And I loved the first book in this series, and I'm really enjoying this one. I just need to actually pick it up and read it. Roll two. It was a one. We got a donut. And it is a fantasy romance. Roll number two got us a donut and it was a fantasy romance. So let's see what he picked for me for that. Okay, for the next one, I don't have any of the physical books. So I just have post-its here. I have Dark Lover by J.R. Ward. That's the first book in the Black, Dar Black Dagger Brotherhood. I have A Promise of Fire by Amanda Boucher, I think is how you say it and House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. So I will just put a kibble on, oh, tapped you. Kibble on each of those, and let's see what he picks. Cooper! Cooper! Get a treat! Right there! Cooper, over here! All right, he just went for the first one in the line. So that is House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. Get the last one. Good boy. And he chose Violence by picking the longest book that he possibly could have chosen. I will be reading House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. That is the 800 page book that I talked myself out of reading last month, but Mr. Cooper said, no, mom, you're going to read it. You want to read it and I'm going to make you read it. So he chose House of Earth and Blood for me. I don't really even know that much about it. I just know it's Sarah J. Mass. And I love Sarah J. Mass. So yeah, I'm excited about it. I believe it's like paranormal urban fantasy, but I will find out when I read it. Roll three, a four, another donut. Go to coffee break. Roll three, we got a donut and it was go to coffee break. So I got to skip ahead to a coffee break and I didn't have to pick a book for that one. Roll four, roll three, it's a cake. And a roll a d8, even move forward and odd, I move back. So I have my D8 here. We'll give it a roll. And it was a seven. So we have to move back seven spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we got a cupcake. A new to me author. Roll four got us some gameplay. I landed on a cake and I had to roll a D8 if I got an even number, I move forward, and on number, I move back. I got a seven, so I had to move back seven spaces. And I landed on a cupcake, which was a new to me author. So let's see what he picked for me for that one. Okay, so for this next one, we're gonna have to be very careful because these are all library books and we don't want anything to happen to them, of course. But I have Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. I have The Demon King by Cinda Williams Chima. And I have One for the Money by Janet Ivanovich. Okay, so let's see which one. Come on. Over here. Pick one. No. <laughs> That's the one I was least excited about. Okay. So, it looks like he picked <laughs> Excuse me. Good boy. Good boy. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. So he picked 
one for the money, and don't worry, I will be wiping down these books before I return them to the library. And for this one, he picked One for the Money by Janet Ivanovich. As far as I can tell, these are kind of like cozy mystery sort of vibe, but it's definitely like a mystery story. Um, she is, I believe, a bounty hunter. Welcome to Trenton, New Jersey, home to wise guys, overage Joes, average, overage Joes average joes and stephanie plum who sports a big attitude and even bigger money problems stephanie needs cash fast but times are tough and soon she's forced to turn to the last resort of the truly desperate family stephanie lands a gig at her sleazy cousin Vinny's bail bonding company she's got no experience but that doesn't matter Needed is the fact that the bail jumper in question is local vice cop Joe Morelli. From the time he first looked up her dress to the time he first got into her pants, M-O-R-E-L-L-I has spelled T-R-O-U-B-L-E, and now the hot guy is in hot water, wanted for murder. If Stephanie can nab Morelli in a week, she'll make a cool 10 grand. All she has to do is become an expert bounty hunter overnight and keep herself from getting killed before she gets her man. Sounds good. So I'm filming pretty much like right next to the front door and it's open and I'm pretty sure the mailman just came, so. <laughs> he probably thinks I'm crazy talking to myself in here, but that's okay. Okay, moving on. Okay, roll five is a four. One, two, three, four. Oh, another coffee break. Our next roll got us a coffee break, so we got to just move on from there without picking a book. Roll six is a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have a cupcake and it is over 400 pages. And after that, we landed on a cupcake and it was a book over 400 pages. So let's see what he chose for me. The next category is over 400 pages. So I have Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. I have The Demon King again. I'm really trying to get that one on there. And again, I have Malice by John Gwynn. So let's put some treats and unleash the beast. Cooper, take a book. Don't sit right there. Come over here. Oh. <laughs> And it looks like he picked Bear Town. A little too close to the camera, huh, bud? Good boy. So the first one he ate was Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. Good boy. So for a book over 400 pages, he picked Bear Town by Fre Frederick Bachman. All I know about this book is that it takes place in a town that's like obsessed with hockey and one of the hockey players does something bad. Um, okay, so this is like long, so I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I'm just going to read like the very bottom paragraph of this. It says, being responsible for the hopes of an entire town is a heavy burden and the semi-final match is a catalyst for a violent act that will leave a young girl traumatized in a town and a town in turmoil. Hers is a story no one wants to believe, since doing so would mean the end of the dream. Accusations are made, and like ripples on a pond, they travel through all of Beartown, leaving no resident unaffected. Um, so yeah, it looks like the team members did something bad. And that's all I know. And I know this book is, like, heart-wrenching, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, roll seven, and at least we are past the burnt batch spot. So we can't go back to the beginning, I don't think. Unless we have some really bad luck. One, two, three, four, and we are home. So I just need an end spot card, and it is a free pick. Okay, and our final roll got us to the end spot, which landed on, not landed on, which I picked free pick. And even though it was supposed to be a free pick for me, I still let Cooper choose. I just chose three books that I'm excited to read and let him choose. So anything would have been a book that I would have picked for that. So let's see what he picked. Okay, and my last one is supposed to be a free pick, but basically I want to read all three of these. So anyone he picks is fine. 
and I'm having fun with this and I think he's having fun with it too because he gets snacks. So these are going to be our three books for my quote unquote free pick and let's see what he chooses. And we had another quick choice. He chose Kingdom of the Wicked. And he choked on it. <laughs> Eat the other treats. Go ahead. You have one more. Cooper. You have one more. Good boy. And he picked Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. This is a book I've been wanting to read for quite some time now. Just the little blurb on the back says, I understood why some thought kissing one of the wicked was addictive. Each time his tongue touched mine, it felt as if the ground beneath me quaked, like we were a catalyst cataclysmic event that shouldn't be. Um, two sisters, one brutal murder, a quest for vengeance that will unleash hell itself, and an intoxicating romance. Like I said, I've been wanting to read this for a while. I'm excited and I'm happy that he picked it. So these are the books that Cooper picked for me to read as well as House of Earth and Blood, which adds another 800 pages. So my stack is like this big, even though it's only five books, but I'm excited to read all of these. Uh, a little bit less so this one, but I still took it out of the library because I wanted to read it. So. I'm excited about this stack. I'm excited to catch up on some stuff in September. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that will actually happen. Let me know if you've read any of these books, what you thought of them. Um, like if Beartown ripped your heart out because I hear that's what it does. Or if you've read The Mask of Mirrors, let me know what you thought of it because I really like this series so far. I just wish I could make myself read this book. That is gonna do it for me today. Uh, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed meeting my pup Cooper and let me know if you would like to see him do more of this. I think I need to fix the camera angle a little bit, um, like maybe face the camera the other way so he's not like right in front of it, like he comes into the room, like you can see him coming into the room. That's something that I'll have to figure out for next time. But don't worry, also Pet Pick will be going into my deck of cards for my normal TBR game as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you're reading in September and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Cooper. Say goodbye.